Good evening and welcome to this virtual event that will focus on the special programs and schools offered by Dallas ISD. We are so glad you're here and we want to let you know this webinar will also be available in Spanish. We are so glad you were able to join us this evening because you'll get to hear more about the new application system for all of these great programs and about the programs themselves. We have some really incredible opportunities for students at every level. All right, thank you for bearing with us. We have some incredible opportunities oportunidades increíbles for students at para los estudiantes. Um, before I introduce our first speaker, I want to remind you that if you already know what school or programs you want to apply for, you can go to www.dallasisd.org slash choose Dallas ISD and start applying. We do have folks on the phone ready to help you. Just call 972-925-5560. They will be there until 8 p.m. tonight and from 7.30 a.m. To, to 5 p.m. during the rest of the week. Now, we are going to hear from Keisha Crowder-Davis from our Office of Transformation and Innovation about our new application system and school finder. Keisha, take it away. Good evening, Dallas ISD families. How are you this evening? I hope you're excited to be here with us as we discover all of the great offerings in Dallas ISD and we help you choose the best fit school for your students. Dallas ISD has a new application portal. Within this portal, it allows families the ability to search for the best fit school. But your neighborhood school is always your first choice. And we have some awesome schools of choice. Dallas has an array of awesome programs. Next slide, please. In order to get to the new application system, we had to do a little change management in-house. Historically, families were able to apply to all of the programs that we had available in different portals. So it was a decentralized application process. Families, you were able to apply to the OTI lottery schools in their portal, up to five schools. You were able to apply to two magnet programs. You were able to apply to collegiate academies in a separate portal, you were able to make a first, second, and third choice. You were able to apply for a student transfer. You were able to apply cool. for an IB school, a dual language campus, all in separate applications. What we've done now is moved all of these applications into one centralized application where you family will choose your top five schools and receive one offer, email, or text message. Next slide. Back up one, I'm sorry. One of the things that I did want to mention was that you were able to, you received an offer letter for, from all of these schools, every one of them. So we weren't able to make informed decisions because parents, families, we really didn't know where you were going to school. So now we're gonna be able to send you one offer letter and know exactly what you're picking. Next slide. What was the rationale for change? Benefits for the family. It's a one-stop shop. You're able to search, apply, and enroll online for the school you're interested in. As I stated earlier, you'll be able to select five choices. It's very important to remember to rank your most desired school as your first choice. The last option or last benefit is that it's a unified process and timeline. We heard you families. There's been several opt-eds written about this. Families were all able to apply at the same time. The application portal opened November 7th. It will close January 31st and you will receive your acceptance information on March 1st. Next slide, please. Our Dallas ISD School Finder. 
we have designed a school finder for you to be able to search for your schools. This is our shopping mall. This is our Nordstrom's of schools, families. As you're searching for choice um, programs, your first option, like I said, is always your neighborhood school. So the portal was designed to be able to enter your home address and select by grade level, and it'll show you exactly what's available. But on this portal, you're also able to search by program, by grade level, by school type, and receive various op options. Next slide, please. Now, I just talked about the application. The second choice, you know, you're able to um, rank your schools. Top five. I have a little scenario here that I'm going to walk you through. I said it's very important to make sure that you rank your most desired school first. So let's say there's a student who's applying to Booker T. Washington, first choice. Second choice is City Lab High School, which is a transformation school. Your third choice is Madison P-Tech Collegiate Academy. Your fourth choice is Hillcrest IB. Your fifth choice is Gilliam Early College High School. What's going to happen as families or as students complete their assessment processes for each of the various schools? We will have a bucket for magnet. There will be a bucket for transformation. There is a bucket for P-TECH. There is a bucket for IB. And what's going to happen? The schools will rank them based on their assessments or their interviews. We'll push all of the schools together or all of the students together that are in these separate buckets. We'll run an algorithm to provide families with one optimal acceptance. So there will be no more, I have all of these acceptances deciding where I'm going to attend. You'll receive one optimal acceptance and you will also have your wait list data. From there, you will have 10 days to let the campus know via the application, I mean, via the text message or the email notification that you are accepting that seat and confirming that slot. Next slide, please. That's all I have right now. But if you need help, know that there are individuals waiting for you from the One Center. Please give them a call, 972-925-5560. Awesome. Thank you for that information, Keisha. As you can see, the new tools to find the best fit school for your student and apply is just so much easier than ever. Um, but of course, if you do run into any issues, you can always call us. Um, Keisha just shared that number um, until 8 p.m. this evening. I'll share it again just in case. Um, it's written on the screen, 972-925-5560. Now, before we share um, information about the programs, I just want to remind you that after Thanksgiving break, we will have a webinar to talk about programs at the elementary school level and offer an opportunity for you to try out some virtual open houses. Um, so if you're interested in participating in that webinar, you can find the link to register by visiting www.dallasisd.org slash choose Dallas ISD. I also want to let you know that we will be answering questions at the end of presentations, but you can ask your questions at any time um, and you can do so by writing them in the Q&A box at the bottom of the screen. Um, now we're going to watch a video about some of our talented and gifted programs. Bear with us another second. We're having some more tech themes with audio. E. Dallas I 
ISD's talented and gifted or TAG program provides students with high abilities, a rigorous curriculum, and teachers with the training and skills to motivate and address the needs of gifted students. The TAG program cultivates the unique abilities of each individual while addressing the four core academic areas. Reading and language arts, math, science, and social studies. Dallas ISD's TAG programs also promote the full development of a student's intellectual, creative, leadership, or visual arts and performing arts abilities. Students in the TAG program demonstrate skills in self-directed learning, critical thinking, research, and communication. This setting provides the opportunity to interact with intellectual peers in academic, creative, aesthetic, and social endeavors. Choose a Dallas ISD talented and gifted program and empower your highly capable student to remain challenged and thrive in a school and in future aspirations. Apply at dallasisd.org slash choose Dallas ISD. Um, okay, now we are going to hear from our magnet, tag, and visual arts team. All right, it's me again, Keisha Crowder Davis, Executive Director of Centralized Enrollment and Magnet Programs. Magnet programs are available for students in pre-K through 12th grade. They do come with academic requirements to apply. The admission is based on school-specific criteria essays, interviews, observations. Um, they're designed around an anchor model such as TAG, visual and performing arts, Montessori, STEM, career explorations, and transportation is provided to students within the district boundaries. Next slide. I talked about the eligibility to apply. So students must come to um, the program with a 75 GPA. Due to COVID, we are doing something a little different. We're using the cumulative GPA of students from the spring of 2020 or the fall of 2020. So students can use their last year's report card or they can use the report card that they just received this week. Standardized test scores. Back one, yes, because of COVID as well, we are using the 40th percentile on last fall's ACP reading and math or 40th percentile beginning of the year map reading and math. There are several schools who accept students at the 80th percentile. Those are our TAG schools and our Townview Science and Engineering Magnet. So those students have to be at the 80th percent to apply and at the 70th percentile on their standardized test to be able to apply to the programs. Next slide. The selection process for magnets is a little different. It's board policy, EHBJ. We, um, after the students take their assessments, the students are rank ordered from highest to lowest based on the assessment by merit. The top 30% of the seats are awarded to students no matter where you live in the district. The remaining 70% of the seats are awarded by feeder pattern. So each feeder pattern receives a percentage of seats. We do have a sibling rule for pre-K through eighth grade Montessori programs and a sibling preference for grades four through eight um, where we add five points to the student's application, for instance, at our TAG programs. All in-district students are prioritized. So we accept in-district students first, and if there are remaining seats, out-of-district students would be admitted. Next slide. We have several programs at the elementary level. Next slide. Middle school magnet programs. Next slide and high school programs. Next slide. Thank you so much. Choose Dallas ISD. Thank you, Keisha. We are now going to watch a video about our International Baccalaureate Program. Thank you. 
International baccalaureate programs aim to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who take an active role in creating a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding, ownership, and respect. Dallas ISD's IB schools offer a unique continuum of instruction from grades pre-K through 12th and provide rigorous, challenging academic environments that foster students' social, emotional, and physical well-being. The IB experience enables your student to discover himself or herself and the world while in elementary school. In middle school, your student makes practical connections between studies and the world. Prior to graduation, your high school student will begin to earn college credit and be equipped with mindsets, tools, and skills necessary to thrive in post-secondary endeavors, all while diving deeper into topics he or she is passionate about. Choose an IB program in Dallas ISD, where we are on a mission to nurture global change makers. Apply at dallasisd.org slash choose Dallas ISD. Wonderful. Okay, now we are going to hear from our Office of Transformation and Innovation. Take it away. Good evening. My name is Nicole Bixby, and I'm the Director of the Office of Transformation and Innovation. And our goal is to provide best fit schools for all Dallas ISD families. Our transformation schools are open enrollment campuses designed around various innovative instructional models. And you'll hear more about these tonight. There are no academic entry requirements and transportation is offered within district boundaries. Online applications to our transformation schools are accepted annually from November through January. Students are selected through a lottery Offers are generated based on the number of seats available in each grade level, the student's priority group, and the randomly assigned lottery number. Research shows socioeconomically diverse schools offer better learning environments for all students, no matter their background. The Office of Transformation and Innovation has adopted this approach for several of its transformation schools. For designated 50-50 socioeconomic diversity schools, Students are entered into either the economically disadvantaged lottery group or the non-economically disadvantaged lottery group. And this is based on the student's economic status. Let's explore some of these offerings. Next slide. There are many choices for students starting at the elementary level. Be sure to attend the elementary campus webinars on December 5th. Oh, I think we, thank you. <laughs> Let me go back a little bit. Um, so we have several offerings at our um, transformation schools. And so in on December 5th, you can see what's happening in our elementary campuses. And then for our secondary choices, you've got uh, offerings as well in STEM, STEAM, Montessori, and personalized learning. And our three transformation high schools are perfect fits for students who are interested in technology, project-based learning, or urban planning, architecture, and environmental science. Okay, next slide, please. We also have exciting choices in our innovation campuses. And these innovation schools are neighborhood schools that offer redesigned curriculum while maintaining their current identity. If you live in the neighborhood, you can simply attend the school. And students who live outside these school attendance zones can attend if space is available. Next slide, please. So as you can see, there are many programs to explore at our neighborhood campuses as well. You can check out Choose Dallas ISD and our website for more information about the specific programs and the schools of your choice. The campus-led webinars for our neighborhood programs will be held on Saturday, December the 12th. So our, our transformation and innovation schools have been designed with your child in mind. We look forward to receiving your application to the best fit school of your choice. Thank you for your time. Wonderful, thank you, Nicole. Next, we're gonna learn a little bit about our dual language program. 
starting with a video. My husband and I, when our son was about to enter into kindergarten, we were excited that there was a dual language program offered. As a, a parent, um, I'm very involved in, me and my wife are very involved in our kids uh, becoming successful education-wise. We thought it was really important for our kids to be able to have an opportunity to be exposed to another language and to, to learn about other cultures and through learning a different language. It gives them opportunity to be more sociable and have other network opportunities and be able to just be able to communicate on, a, on other levels besides the environment level that they're at. Just as we see our, our city and our culture um, so influenced by Spanish culture, we've loved our kids um, having a broader understanding um, of the language. Um, and being able to learn um, a language alongside their native English language. Um, but I would recommend it for anybody to do it. I mean, we're trying to have a better society and it starts with our younger children. So um, I think in order for her to be a great leader, she has to pick up something extra like this. And I think this will benefit her. Great, now we're going to hear from our dual language team. Thank you. Good evening to all. My name is Iris Samides and I am re representing the dual language um, program. Our um, awesome dual language program offers students an opportunity to learn how to speak, write, listen, and think in both Spanish and English. Because of students are learning the two languages, their thinking skills are strengthened and their pro problem solving skills are fine tuned. In addition to this cognitive benefits, our students also become very globally aware and are more culturally diverse as they grow as a dual language learner. Next slide, please. If you see here, there are um, some differences between the elementary and the secondary in elementary, our pre-K through first grade, 70% is taught in Spanish and 30% is taught in English. From second grade to fifth grade, 50% is taught in Spanish and 50% is taught in English. In secondary, they take two courses that are 100% in Spanish each year, and the remainder of the courses is 100% in English each year. Next slide, please. So this is the, all the information. If you need more information, there you have our website and how to get in communication with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now we're gonna be learning a little bit about early learning. Hi, my name is Iker. I'm three years old, and I'm a pre-K student in Dallas ISD. So my days are filled with a lot of stuff to do. When I arrive, I enjoy a delicious breakfast to get my day started. Then there's dancing, there's singing, and then it's off to stations. Sometimes I paint, some days it's shapes and colors. And when I'm feeling really creative, I dress up. My cinema gets built up every day as I train in gym class. But not to worry, I eat a healthy snack and tasty lunch to fill my body because I'm a lean green learning machine. So you see, it's not easy being a pre-K student in Dallas ISD. But there is a whole lot of fun. Awesome. Let's hear now from the early learning team. Hi, good evening. My name is Yesenia Ramirez. I'm one of the directors in the early learning department. 
And so our goal is to ensure that all students have an opportunity to attend uh, pre-K here in Dallas ISD and be kinder ready. A child's brain develops very quickly from the time that they're born up until they're five years old. So I know our data, our data shows that students that attend pre-K develop um, academically and perform much faster and higher compared to the students that do not. But also the social development develops much quicker compared to the peers that did not attend um, pre-K. Next slide. So here we have several different programs. I think some of my peers mentioned, but these are specifically that offer pre-K three and pre-K four schools. So you can see we do have a Montessori programs here in Dallas ISD, such as Ida B. Wells, Mata, and our new school, Edie Walker, and Onesimo Hernandez, that will start with pre-K three and pre-K four. For pre-K three and four, it will be a full day. We also have two magnet schools, which is um, Dealey and um, Harry Stone, which start at pre-K four. And then we have a couple of our uh, singer genders who are listed at the bottom for solo prep for boys and girls who start at pre-K four. And then a personalized learning at Sam Houston and an arts academy that also start at pre-K four. So we have plenty of different types of programs for either for your child that's three years old or four year olds from full day um, for three year old and full day for pre-K four. Next slide. So for more information, uh, please you can contact us at our website at prekdallas.org, or we have very specific questions right now. I have a team there waiting for you to call them at 214-932-7735. They'll be able to help you with any questions or to help you with complete the application process today. If not, if you're a texter like me, you can text pre-K to 972-687-7735, or you prefer to email, you can email us at pre-K at dallasisd.org. Wonderful, thank you, Yesenia. Now we're going to be hearing about our PTEC um, programs. And we'll just get that video pulled. What I love about Dallas is I can learn and grow so much in this city. I'm Vanessa. I live with my two parents, my sister and my brother. Since I was little, I've always been interested in how technology works. I just saw P-TECH as an opportunity to learn something new. Raising Vanessa, I think we've been very blessed with her. And watching her with her brother and sister, it brings joy to my heart. To be a big sister is knowing to set a good example for my siblings to follow in. <laughs> I had started playing basketball my freshman year of high school. It was like her first year playing. She was excited. That night when she got injured, she definitely was bummed out. Mentally, it kind of threw me off. Basketball was my way of helping with that mental health. I had to overcome that challenge, and I picked up a new sport. But she still continued, you know, practicing the skills that she could. Just watching her persevere, I mean, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, that's everybody, that's what you want from your child. If I had to compare golf to a subject in school, it would definitely be physics. Golf at first was extremely challenging than physics. Once I started getting the hang of all the calculations, I started passing with A's. There is a lot of pressure from my mom. That's one of the reasons why I strive for those A's. But the thing is, it's a good pressure. Yes, <laughs> setting high expectations is a great thing, but we know that they can handle it only because they know they have support I've watched Vanessa blossom through P-TECH. I have seen leadership come out of her. You, you want nothing but the best from, you know, the best education. She pretty much did it on her own. And that's when I knew, you know, we had something special. I saw P-TECH as an opportunity for me to better my future, to be a Hispanic woman in tech. I can't say that I see a lot of people like myself. I know that by doing this, I'll show others that you can follow your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I'm Vanessa, and I am P-TECH. Awesome. OK, let's hear from our P-TECH and Early College High Schools team. Good evening. My name is Sibu McNeil, and I serve as the Workplace and Career Coordinator 
Um, I'll be sharing some information with you today regarding the PTEC and early college programs. So PTEC is a global education model uh, that offers students the opportunity to develop skills and competencies that translate directly into competitive careers. So our high school students can earn up to 60 college credit hours um, in a career path of their choice for free. Um, with this, we offer upward of different pathways of study, which include technology, engineering, criminal justice, uh, business software programming, hospitality management, and more. Next slide, please. Um, P-TECH, when we are looking at what P-TECH is, um, I think it's important to understand also what it stands for. So P-TECH stands for Pathways to Technology Early College Programs. So this model combines high school, um, the college experience, industry partners. Um, they work together to prepare students to enter middle skill level jobs. And these jobs can include anything from accounting to teaching um, to engineering. Next slide. Uh, when looking at PTEC, it's also important to understand the differences between PTEC and early college programs. Um, they have a lot of similarities, but there are a couple of things that make them make PTEC a little bit different. Um, PTEC, just like with any other early college high school, um, students have an opportunity to earn up to 60 hours of college credit. Um, they also are combined with higher education partners and specifically Dallas College and UNT Dallas. Um, also, uh, the PTEC program, just like early college high schools, have an opportunity to earn an associate's degree. Um, PTEC differs in just a, a little bit uh, just because the specific pathways in terms of those associate's degrees are aligned with the workforce needs. Um, and the other way that PTEC is a little bit different is that we have industry partnerships. And this is really important because our industry partners play a huge role in the success of our PTEC students. Um, industry partners contribute to the student learning um, through mentoring, through site visits, internship opportunities, and other workforce experience. Um, some of our industry partners include Microsoft, IBM, AT&T, American Airlines, um, Southwest Airlines, and Cummings Electrical. Next slide, please. And last, in terms of the PTEC goals, there are certain outputs that we look for um, when we are um, producing our PTEC students. Um, they all, of course, have their high school diploma. That is our number one priority in those graduation endorsements. Um, they also have the opportunity to earn those 60 plus credit hours for, at no cost to the student or the parent. Um, they have the opportunity to earn the associate's degree, um, the career and technology certifications, uh, four-year university options, career opportunities, mentoring opportunities, worksite visit, internships, and then of course they are first in line for those job interviews after graduation. Uh, I think it's also important to mention that transportation is also provided for all of our PTEC campuses. Um, if you want more information, please visit our website at dallasisd.org. Um, you can visit the PTEC and early college departments. Thank you. Thank you, Cebu. Okay, our last program we're going to cover tonight is our Career Institutes. Dallas ISD's new Career Institutes are expanding career options for highly motivated students who want to enter skilled trades and earn a living wage right out of high school. The institutes offer courses leading to certifications in aviation, construction, mechatronics, interior design, plumbing, electrical, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration, cybersecurity, and much more. Choose the opportunity to graduate ready to enter a high demand, high wage job, earning between $20 and $50 an hour. Choose a career institute in Dallas ISD and become a boss after high school. Apply at dallasisd.org slash choose Dallas ISD. 
right, let's hear from our Career Institute's team. Good evening, everyone. I am Adrienne Jones, the Director of Career Institute. And um, one of the things I wanted to explain is that Career Institute is open enrollment for all students, all high school students. It is an opportunity to expand career options for highly motivated students who want to enter the career pathways and earn a living wage right out of high school. Uh, the Career Institute offers courses leading to four or more industry recognized certifications in each of the pathways listed below. Our current pathways are aviation flight, cybersecurity, construction and carpentry, electrical and solar technology, HVAC and refrigeration, plumbing and pipe fitting, mechatronics and auto advanced manufacturing. And next year we will start with uh, health science pathways, which include EKG and phlebotomy, EMT, pharmacy tech, and patient care tech. We also have our cybersecurity information technology pathway. By 2025, we will be offering just a few additional uh, pathways, dental assistant tech, automotive technology and welding, adaptive culinary arts. So why career institutes? As I mentioned, this is an extension of the high school that your students, your child currently uh, attends. So it is open enrollment. Uh, we also offer transportation from the home campus to an ideal instructional environment with industry grade equipment that is available to every student every day. We also offer dual language classes in construction and HVAC. Students will, as mentioned in the video, will earn stackable industry certifications each year that will be applied in the workplace. Uh, students also complete their foreign language requirements with a curriculum that is written specifically for the career pathway. So they're learning the vocabulary, career vocabulary while learning the language. We offer uh, electives in general employability and entrepreneurship training. Students will engage with industry partners via mentoring, internships, and ultimately providing immediate employment upon graduation. And we're talking about jobs that are middle age, middle skill jobs with an 18 to 40% annual wage increase growth rate. Right. So let's look at the pathways that are offered at our various campuses. We have the Career Institute East, which is currently located at the Lincoln Instructional Center, and it served high schools Brian Adams, Spruce, Lincoln High School, Madison, and Woodrow Wilson. And as you see here, it offers the following pathways of cybersecurity, pharmacy tech, patient care tech, HVAC, plumbing technology, interior design, electrical technology, and construction. Next slide. We have our Career Institute North, which is located uh, at 13420 Midway Road. It serves students from Hillcrest High School, W.T. White, Conrad, Thomas Jefferson, and North Dallas. It too offers the uh, pathways that were mentioned before. Next slide. And then we have the Charmaine and Robert Price Career Institute which is located at 4949 Village Fair Drive. It has the eight original pathways. And then once again, it will offer in the fall, the pharmacy tech, patient care tech, EMT, and EKG phlebotomy. Now, how does uh, transportation work? So students will take their core classes at their home campus and half day every other day, they will be transported from their home campus to the Career Institute where they will take their career course and one of the electives mentioned before. They will be provided lunch and will return back to their home campus in time for their uh, extracurricular activities or to return to their uh, neighborhood bus. That is our Career Institute and we look forward to having your child join us next year. Thank you, Adrian, and thank you so much to all of our program presenters. We are now ready to answer your questions, um, and it seems like we have quite a few to get through. So I'll kick us off with this question. 
how can I know which schools offer STEM? Uh, is Solar Boys a STEM option? Solar Boys is a, a STEM option and you can go to our Choose Dallas ISD site and with School Finder, you can search uh, for schools specifically that are STEM. Awesome, thank you, Nicole. How, next question, how do I access the Academy of Engineering option at Hillcrest in the application? Okay, I will take that one. Um, the Academy of Engineering is not on the application. So if you're interested in the Academy of Engineering, please reach out to Hillcrest High School and they will be able to assist you. On the application for Hillcrest, you're able to see their PTEC program, you're able to see their IB program. Um, the Academy of Engineering is not there. Awesome, thank you, Keisha. Next question is, is transportation offered to choice schools? Transportation is provided to all choice schools. It's provided for a PTEC program, an OTI school, and a magnet program. It's also provided for our career institutes via their home school and back. Fantastic. All right, is my daughter able to participate in extracurricular activities if she enrolls in a high school choice program? Yes, she is. So we have a lot of our kiddos that participate in extra, extracurricular activities as well. Awesome, thank you, Nicole. Um, one question we have is, Keisha, I believe this is from when you shared earlier about the application system. Someone asked, does this mean that a student will only get admit admittance to one school even if they qualify for more than one. Yes, you will receive an acceptance for one school. So that's why I share that it's very important that you rank your most, I really, really wanna to go to this school as your first choice because the optimizer will only provide you with one acceptance. Now you may be waitlisted at other programs, but you will only receive one acceptance. And the acceptance is based, let me say it again, let me reiterate this, on how you rank your choices. Awesome, thank you, Keisha. Another application question, um, this parent asks, notice when I started the application, it automatically chose a school that I did not want to apply for my child. I did not continue the application in order to get guidance on that. Do you have anything offer there? Yes, please ask them to reach out to one of the enrollment um, persons at the One Center. Give us a call, 972-925-5560. We're there to assist you and we will help you with that process. Perfect. All right, someone is wanting to know, is there, or what is the difference between P-TECH and early college? Sure, I can answer that. Um, they have a lot of similarities in the sense that they both um, have the opportunity to earn the college credits um, and the associate's degree. The way PTEC is a little bit different is um, that PTEC has industry partnerships that prepare students directly to go into the workforce in addition to the associate's degree. Awesome, thank you, Cebu. Um... All right, this next question is for our early learning team. What choice programs are offered for pre-K three and pre-K four? Forget to unmute myself. So um, there's a couple of different options. So we have the Montessori schools that start off at pre-K three, pre-K four, which is Eduardo Mata, Danton Montessori, Ornés Hernández, and the new one is um, Edie Walker. Um, and uh, actually those are the ones that actually start three and four. The remainder ones actually start at pre-K four. Awesome, thank you. Uh, another question for you, Yusinia. Do I need to apply for pre-K at a later time or while applying for the choice program? 
So way, the way it works is currently right now, you're actually, if you're applying for a transformation school, you're actually applying for the lottery for the seat that Keisha actually mentioned earlier. Um, and for Magnet, it, it will be the same process, um, except you have the qualifying academics that's needed. And then later in March, you will be actually registering and qualifying for pre-K. So right now it's actually for transformation is for the lottery. Um, and you'll get your acceptance letter like um, Keisha mentioned. And then in March, you'll be actually registering and qualifying for pre-K. Great, thank you. All right, we have another um, application question. And that is, what if you don't get accepted to any of your choice schools? Well, if you don't get accepted into any of your choice schools, remember at the beginning of the presentation, I said your neighborhood school is your first option. So I'm sure your neighborhood school has awesome programs. So you're able to seamlessly enroll in your neighborhood um, school using this portal or after um, March 22nd, you're able to come back into the portal and choose additional schools. You're able to have up to five choices of schools. Thank you, Keisha. Um, and that's a good segue. I just wanna remind people that we do have a special webinar on December 12th, uh, it's a Saturday, and that's going to cover neighborhood schools specifically. Um, so just wanna make sure, you know, point that out to people. Um, now, our next question is, can you tell us about the sibling preferences and the preference process and qualifications? I can speak to it from Magnets and then I will turn it over to Nicole to talk about it for the transformation schools. For Magnet programs, we have a sibling rule and a sibling priority. So um, our sibling rule is applied to our Montessori families. So what we do is we make sure that our 30% of students are accepted. Then we look at our siblings and admit our siblings. For our um, sibling rule, we add five points to the sibling that's applying. So you must have a sibling that is attending the school in order to receive the sibling priority. So we don't, for magnets, we don't um, provide the priority or the rule if you're applying together. You have to have one sibling that's already attending the school in order to receive the priority. Okay, for our transformation schools, uh, we do have a sibling preference. There's a 25% cap. And so what that looks like is uh, before we run the lottery, the first uh, priority is siblings. If we have more babies applying than uh, that 25% cap, then if they are not selected in the sibling lottery, those students will be entered into the general lottery. So like in district or whatever priorities come next for that campus. Every campus has different priorities uh, in different orders. So it's important to note that as well. All right, thank you both. Um, our next couple of questions are for dual language. Um, can my incoming third grade child enter a dual language program? A third grade. Um, so if it's for a two way, for the two way um, in third grade, they won't be accepted um, because they have to, if they haven't been previous with um, exposed to Spanish, if it's in a one way and they speak Spanish, yes. Okay. Thank you, Iris. Um, next question would be, do all dual language programs among elementary schools use the same curriculum? Well, um, they use the same curriculum, but now if they're in a IB school, they do IB. If they're in a personalized learning, they'll follow the personalized learning curriculum also. Thank you. All right, we have another application question. Do students have to pick five schools on the application or can they apply for one or two schools of their choice? You can apply for up to five schools. You do not have to apply to all five. You can pick one school. You have the ability to apply, research some more, 
come back before the application closes January 34th. 31st, I'm sorry, and add additional schools. <laughs> I've added additional days in January. We're going to be working. <laughs> that's awesome. And that's another, it's just another great reason why this new application system is so wonderful. It's, you can come back to it. It's just awesome. So thank you, Keisha. Let uh, me add one thing into that, though. I did not um, add. I say we can add up to five choices, but let me make sure that families, you understand, you can pick any combination of five of choices. You can pick the OTI schools, the collegiate academies, the early, um, the um, two-way dual language programs, but only two of them can be a magnet school. I did not say that at the beginning and I apologize, but only two of your choices can be a magnet school. Currently families, you sit for two assessments and we wanna make sure that we don't have you sitting for more than the two assessments. So in your five choices, any combination of schools, only two being a magnet program. Awesome, great clarification. Thank you, Keisha. Our next um, question is about career institutes. Um, if I'm interested in a career institute, do I need to attend a campus that specifically offers them? So yes, you would have to be enrolled in one of the high schools that uh, feed into the career institutes in order to uh, attend. We are an extension of that campus. And so you are actually enrolled in that class on your campus, but you take the course at our facility. Awesome. Thank you, Adrian. And this next question is, will the MAP assessments count for acceptance into choice programs? The MAP assessment is only for magnet school eligibility. So our choice programs do not require academic eligibility or academic admission. It's a blind lottery. Thank you. All right, just gonna find the next one. How long do I have to accept my offer? You have 10 days. You will be notified on March 1st of your status, and then you have 10 days to let us know if you will be accepting the offer. Awesome. All right, um, we have a question about the helpline. Um, so our helpline, it's up, um, you can call tonight until 8 p.m. and it is open on weekdays, um, 7.30 to five, but not during holidays. We will not have that helpline open. So please be sure to call while we're operating dur during normal business hours. Um, and we'll make sure to get those questions answered and help you out whatever ways we can. And what are the requirements for P-TECH? I can answer that. Um, there are no um, academic requirements in terms of GPA or testing. Um, there is just an interview process that happens with the parent and the student. Um, and then once that interview process happens, then the uh, acceptance um, comes after that. Awesome. And how do I know what schools offer P-TECH? Um, they can find that on the website as well. If they go to um, Dallas ISD, they can go to um, departments and then the P-TECH department will lay out each uh, campus that has a P-TECH offering. Awesome. Okay. And this, um, what if my child does not get accepted um, and decides to go to their home school, does he have to apply to that school and specifically that if he wants to go to the P-TECH program? I'm not sure I understood the question, but I think what I heard them say is um, if they want to go to the home, to home, the home school first and then decide to go to P-TECH, 
Um, can you repeat the question? Yeah. Um, what if my child does not get accepted um, to either and decides to go to their home school? Does he have to apply to that school um, and specify that he wants to go into the P-TECH program? So I think like they're asking if they're going to their home school, do they still need to apply to the P-TECH program? If they're going to their home school and they want to apply and they want to go to P-TECH at their home school, they do still have to apply to the P-TECH program within that school. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you, Cebu. And thank you to all of our panelists um, so much for taking some time to answer these questions. Um, that is all the time we have for tonight, but I just want to remind you that if you have any questions about these programs or need help with filling out the application, you can send us an email at choosedallasisd at dallasisd.org or call us at 972-925-5560. We also encourage you to register for one of the other webinars we will be having through the end of January if you need additional information. I wanna thank you again for spending part of your evening with us. Have a great night and happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm.